In this video, I'm going to show you how to run an independent samples t-test. Now, we run an independent t-test when we want to compare a scale variable, like total competency score, between two groups. So my groups are going to be males and females, which is under gender. Now, a scale variable, if you don't remember, is a variable that's not been categorized or grouped. So you see here, I have raw scores from a test. Something like satisfaction here, which is ordinal, if I look, even though it has numbers, is not scale, it's ordinal, so I cannot use a t-test. So I'm going to use total competency and gender. Now before we get started, we just need to have a look and see what our codes are for our grouping variable. So if I have a look here, I can see I've coded my gender as 0 and 1, or 1 is female and 0 is male. Now you can find a t-test under the Analyze menu, Compare Means, and independent samples t-test. Now we're going to put our test variable, which is total competency, into our test variables box. And we're going to put our grouping variable into our grouping variables box. Now we just need to define our groups. So click on the define groups button. And this is where we're going to put in our codes. So zero is male one is female. Click continue. Now you can change the competence interval under the options button. So default is 95%, but you could change this to 90 or 99% if you wanted. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at default, 95%. Click continue and then click OK. Now in our output file, we're going to get two tables. One is the group statistics, which is just some descriptive showing the means and standard deviations. And the second table is the one that gives us the result of the t-test. And we're going to look at how to interpret this table in the next video.